these are the amount of Bitcoin shorts. And as you can see here, we did have a massive increase in November. And the question is, these shorts that were added in November, were these profitable or not? Guys, this was actually now in hindsight, a very good signal telling us what was going to happen with the Bitcoin price in the future. So guys, today I'm going to discuss this. I'm going to let you know what to be on the lookout for in order to make good decisions moving forward when this actually happens again. I'm also, of course, going to go through some charts. I'm going to show you what's been going on with the altcoins. I will give you an update on SBF and what's been happening in there as well. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Guys, what can we see here? Well, we can see that during the last 24 hours, we have actually seen some green here in the altcoin markets, especially FTT, the uh, token for the FTX exchange. Also, Solana has been going up strongly. Now, what we need to understand is that these coins have actually been one of the or two of the worst performers here recently. Um, and during the week, this is these are also up. But during the last like month or so, these are very much down or during the last couple of months, Solana in particular has also gone down extremely much. But this just goes to show that no matter how dead the coin is, like FTT, this is the exchange token for, for FTX, this is pretty much worthless right now. Even though it's worthless, people are still, you know, speculating on this and you can still have massive gains in these altcoins so just wanted to point that out but now let's talk about the charts what we can see here for bitcoin is that on the daily time frame we continue to chug along here we are going down uh, sorry we are going up a little bit here so finding the support we actually uh, found it one two three four five times hit this level and then from this level we finally found some strength and the bulls have now been pushing us up here. Now, what we need to be on the lookout for is this level right here. You can see that, uh, yeah, this is not very straight. So maybe I should be more professional and, <laughs> and do something like this. So you can see that this level is the first uh, kind of a resistance level we need to break through here for Bitcoin. But if we can break through this level, guys, then the next level really is up here at $18,000. So... Yes, this is something to be on the lookout for. We've been trying to break through this multiple times. We've failed every single time here recently. Let's see if this daily candle we're in right now is going to be able to break through that level. Let me know down in the comment section if you think that that is going to be the case or not. For traditional markets, this is interesting. We're just going sideways here. Looks like we have a little bit of a formation going on. Something like this potentially. So we're keeping an eye on the traditional markets here as well. We do have the FOMC uh, minutes today. So that is going to bring some volatility at least. So be prepared for the FOMC minutes uh, later on today. Now, one major thing I want to talk about is the amount of shorts that has been closed on Bitfinex have actually been, you know, during December, we've saw a lot of shorts being closed. We saw a lot of longs being added in November. And the question is, of course, did these guys make money? Well, let's talk about that. But first, just a quick reminder that we still have a couple of days left on this massive OKX deal. 15% lifetime fee discount and up to $40,000 by using this link right here in the, in the top of the description. So make sure to take advantage of this. Now, let's get back to it. Did these shorts make money? And did they were they uh, correct in closing these shorts here in December? So let's look at the price action because a lot of people are now speculating that because the shorts were actually closed, now we could potentially have a bull market uh, or a, at least a bullish period for Bitcoin. But let's look at what's actually happened here. So these shorts were added in November. The 7th of November, they started to accelerate into the 14th of November. So let's look at the price back then. So what did we say? The 7th of November was actually right here this was in the middle of this massive crash here during the ftx drama but look at this most of the shorts were actually added on something like the 8th something like the 9th or something like the 10th and at that point we had already hit the bottom here this happened on the uh, uh, 9th of november so in other words all of the people who uh, shorted here or most of the people who shorted they shorted right at the bottom and Sure, if you held that short, you could potentially get out right here on the second uh, drop. But if you did not do that, then 
that short was pretty much unprofitable for, well, until today, basically. You have never been able to get out at a profit since adding this short here if you didn't get out at this specific point. Which brings me also to the shorts that were that have been closed in December. So the closed shorts in December, these are worth $100 million. These have been closed from uh, 28th of November until today. So 28th of November is actually right here. Bitcoin price went up here. So basically, these people who were on the wrong side of the trading here, they added shorts, but these were unprofitable shorts. And then they had to close it because Bitcoin was going sideways since forever, as you know. So they had to close the shorts. As they closed it, the Bitcoin price went up, adding into a little bit of a short squeeze here. So yes, um, that is what happened, guys. And this is why we need to be on the lookout for this, guys. I will keep you updated. As soon as we see a massive addition of uh, shorts here, Again, I will let you know, so make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Finally, I want to talk about SBF. He pleads not guilty to all charges. The trial will be in October, so almost one year left or eight months. So um, yes, that will be interesting, of course. Let's see if that is going to be live streamed or not. Guys, that's what I got for you. Make sure to subscribe and activate the bell, and I will see you in the next one.